Hello, welcome to the Pets Paws Learn Don't Return series. This is part two of the Doberman Pincher interview with Janet, a 20 year veteran of Doberman Pinchers. Please like, subscribe, also share, comments down below. Now let's get into it. Now let's cover the Doberman Pinchers activities, the nutrition, confirmation, and AKC colors. There is a plethora of things, kennels, kennel clubs in every state. They have dock diving. I have seen that. Dock diving, Dobermans love it. It's gonna be on the they test. They do love it. Any kind of scent work, their nose to a job, it really, really, Dobermans really like scent Yeah, that's work. nothing, that's something I never really thought that they Dobermans did. They love the scent work. Um, because of the genetics behind the Doberman with the hunting, the hunting dogs are there. Not only are they a sight dog, but they're a scent dog as well. A Doberman can, they're a multi-purpose dog. They can herd, they can hunt, they're guardian dogs. They can do, you can train a Doberman to do almost anything. That's going to be trendy. on the test. I ne never knew that. So thank you for They're sharing that. They're super smart. <laughs> yeah, they They're, overcome anything they, with their intelligence. They can. They can't. They're also very stubborn. That's going to be on the test. Huh. A way to a Doberman's heart and through the stubbornness is through the taste buds. So when I tell people when you're training your puppy, the greater the reward the greater the expectation. <laughs> Is that right? Kind of like me. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, that really helps. Nutritional wise? Nutrition. I feed my dogs a supplement um, through NuVet. It helps the immune system of the animal. Um, it's, it, it's just basically natural herbs and stuff like you would take, like I would take. Um, what are the colors? What are the colors that you can, <laughs> that you can okay. have? AKC um, in Europe. Let's go back to Europe, sure. where the where the breed was, where the breed originated. originated. So they had the black and tan, the classic black and tan. That is what everybody bred for. And then I'm not sure how they what the combination was to get the red and rust. That was also allowed. So okay. you have black and rust, red and rust. Oh, okay. So the brown ones. Oh, uh, sure that look brown with the tan markings yes, or the rust yes, markings. Yes, yes, Technically, it's, in Europe, it's brown and rust. In America, we call it red and rust. In this country, they allow the black, the black, black, the yeah, black exactly. and rust, the red and rust, the blue and rust, and the fawn and rust. Up next, I asked Janet why she loves Doberman Pinchers so much. We discuss dog walking and dog foods. Let's first start with the question, why the Doberman? Um, the Doberman has me hook, line, and sinker just for the pure fact that they're intelligent. They're so smart. They're so willing. They're so, they're, they're just so there mm -hmm. for me in every situation. Um, regarding dog walking, how often do you walk the dog or just let them out? Or you mentioned um, you don't go to the park, but can you put a framework for people that are considering the dog, the commitment the daily, that they need? It would, it would be daily, twice a day, sometimes three it's times a day, depending the on the age of your dog, the, your dog's need for brain stimulation. Um, a lot of toys, a lot of interactive toys. They have lick mats, which I love the lick mats. Um, you freeze them, okay. put peanut butter on them, freeze them, put dog treats on them, freeze them. Your dog has to work at that. And they, they, they love it. They, they like their lick mats. Yeah. It keeps them busy for a minute. Chew bones, keep them busy for a minute. Um, I love these people who are putting out, like I suggested earlier to a friend of mine, the yak milk bones. I love those yak milk bones, except for my dogs eat them they're gone in <laughs> minutes it's just okay so I just I mean the dogs need a lot more um, your 20 minute walk with your average dog isn't gonna cut it with a Doberman they, so you're saying you you all you need to walk the Doberman 
two to three times a day, and you also need to give them room to run. Run. If you're so giving you them, got to have both of those if, in order to. Right. If you well, if your Doberman has like a backyard, if you have property and you can take your dog out, open the door, let them go run, go throw a ball a couple of times, let them go entertain themselves. I train them when they're little and young not to pull me. Um, there are people who I see people with pinch collars and choke chains and all this stuff on these dogs. And those are tools. Yes, they're training tools, but at some point they become a crutch. And I, I feel that my opinion, they're unnecessary in a lot of situations. Okay. So, no, you know, if that makes yeah, sense for sure. So if you train your dog, to be the dog that you want your dog to be in public. Kind of like kids, right. you know, take your kids okay. out in public, you know. So. Good, good for the audience to yeah. know. Pinch collars, choke collars, they're okay you, in right. moderation exactly. for training purposes. Right, and know how to but, use them because they can be used incorrectly. Definitely. And it's, you know, the Doberman has a health issue called CVI, which is wobblers, which is a neck issue. The last thing you want to be doing is yanking on his neck. Mm -hmm. So. Again, training. Teach the dog to walk with you. So what kind of, of dog food do you feed? I'm feeding right now a brand called Wholesome's. It's a salmon and rice, it's a salmon based salmon protein. Rice is the filler. Um, it's for sensitive, it says sensitive skin and stomach. I don't have sensitive skin and stomach issues. This just happens to be the food that I found that has no estrogen increasing ingredients, and no taurine blockers. So that is why I'm using that food. Um, it comes in an all stage brand. It comes in a high protein brand. The all stage brand is a 22% protein. The all stage is a 24% protein, but it also comes in lamb. So I'm actually mixing the three. So I'm getting the two different types of protein. I'm getting the lar a little higher protein in the large breed. I think the lamb is a 23% protein. So I'm staying right there between 22, 24% protein, but that prevents my puppies who I wean on this dog food and raise up on this dog food from getting pano, which is a, it's a calcium phosphorus protein ingredients, but if they have to be certain levels, because if the levels are off, then your puppy develops growing pains growing issues in their sure. bones. So this is a food that I've been feeding now for going on almost 18 months. This I've raised oh, wow. two litters of puppies on these so far and have had no issues. Now I'm gonna ask Janet about the dog bowl type, the dog food container, and shampooing. Bowl type, do you do raised bowls? Are they on the ground? Stainless steel plastic, what's your? I So I have had a variety. And I've learned my dog's chins will break out if I don't use stainless steel. So I feed my dogs locked up in their crates, and I. It. This is this is just what I do. Um, they're not elevated. I know some people do elevate them, but having a Doberman in a 36-inch crate, it's hard to have the bowl elevated sure. and give the dog's head enough room. Understood. You know, so I just feed them you know, yeah. on, on the bottom of the crate. The bowls are picked up, taken to the sink. I rinse them out with hot water. At night, when I do my dishes and I clean my kitchen up mm -hmm. before I go to bed, everything goes in the dishwasher, my dog bowls included, mm -hmm. and they get a nice hot wash and they start off the next morning clean. Um, and you don't use a dog food container? You... No, no, the, I have a container, I have a long bin. Um, it's like for storing blankets. I think I got it at Walmart. And I can put my three bags of dog food because I buy three different, I buy the salmon, the all stage, I buy the large breed and I buy the lamb. And I can stack them in my bin. And they fit right in my bin. And I can put the lid on it. It keeps the dogs out of it. But I don't take the food out of the bag. Dog washing, you kind of brushed on this a little bit, not no pun intended, right. brushed up they're, on it. They're, again, they're, <laughs> they're wash and wear. Um, and you just use a normal shampoo? I Well, I like to get the baby shampoo. The baby you shampoo, know, The baby okay. shampoo, because it's gentle on their skin, and you know, they don't have much hair on the underneath sides. You know, they, they, they have their armpits, sure. their thighs, their tummies, very little hair. 
So I use a very mild soap with a moisturizer in it. Um, I like the smell of the lavender nighttime bath, baby bath soap. I That's know that what one. I like, the smell of that. So I like to wash my dogs and that because they smell of, pretty good they smell very good <laughs> um and i and i make sure i rinse everybody off really really good that's, that's the key the when you bathe them make sure you rinse them off really really how well. often do you wash not very not very often not very often the, it's not supposed you're not supposed to well i always worry because you know the hair follicles on the doberman are short and stiff and um I worry about washing the natural oils out of exactly. their coat That's and then causing a problem. Now we're going to go over dog beds. Who should consider a Doberman pincher and the test? Do you use dog beds or, or, or not? I do not use dog beds. I find that the dog bed becomes a source of um, major fluff left in my home. It's so you, they s just lay on the on the rug, or I actually uh, well, you have them on the couch. I they, my dogs sleep on my furniture. My furniture right. does have blankets on it. Um, I have blankets that I purchase from our wonderful store Walmart. Mm -hmm. They have no fluff; they're just a single layered blanket. Um, nothing, if they do chew the blanket, which Dobermans are destructive. That's going to be on the test. You will have what I call the holy blanket and it's pick it up and it looks like Swiss cheese. Sure. Um, they do like to chew on their blankets. Sure. So. Um, who would you recommend not get a Doberman pincher? Put a lot of thought to that. Um, people who live in apartments. Um, people who don't have access to being able to take their dog out and go for that run to blow off that steam. People who don't have access to the park. Um, it's just not good for the dog. It's not good for the dog. Now, for those people who are insisting they want a Doberman, right. but they do live in an apartment, get a Doberman that's retired. That's a good idea. Find right. that person. The rescue. Who, find a rescue. Or a breeder that has an older exactly. dog. Exactly. Which is out there. It's going to be on the test. So rehoming your retired show dogs that don't require that exercise. Yeah. That don't require, because they're older, yeah, they'd sure. like to go for a walk around the block, but they don't want to go spend 30 minutes running in the field. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. They're older. So there's other options there than are, just getting a puppy. Right. There are other options other than getting a puppy. Uh, awards and ribbons? Hmm. <laughs> gonna let her brag on herself a little bit. I, um, 2014, the Doberman Pinscher Club of America had a national in California. And two of my girls, Sonia and Abby, Garjan's the Dream Weaver, and Abby was Garjan's Dare to Dream, both won their classes at the largest Doberman show in the country. Now, let's see how you did with six Doberman Pinscher test questions. Do Doberman Pinschers like to dock dive? Yes, in fact, Janet said they do like to dock dive. What can you train your Doberman Pinscher to do? Just about anything. They are very smart dogs. Are Doberman Pinschers stubborn? Yeah, Janet said they are stubborn. I did not anticipate that one either. Do you need to walk slash exercise your Doberman Pinscher? Yes, two to three times a day, both on and off leash. After bathing your Doberman Pinscher, do you need to thoroughly remove the soap? A bit of a gimme? Yes, you do. Use plenty of water. Do some Doberman pinchers require less exercise? Yes, the elders require less exercise. How'd you do on the test? Leave your score in the comment section down below. Also, while you're down there, let us know what other dog breed you're interested in learning about. If you want additional information on topics that Janet and I discussed during the interview, it's in the more section right below us. If you're interested in listening to the entire interview, it's on your favorite podcast app. Just search for Pets Paws Podcast and like, share, and subscribe this video. We'll see you at the next dog.